So this is a very historic day. I've been waiting for this day for many years, as has Hazel McCallie, and I know that she fought the formation of the region of Peel and fought Bill Davis uh, 50 years ago, so she's smiling down on us today. Welcome to a special episode of the Cross Border Interviews. Today, we are delving into a significant legislative development from the province of Ontario that has captured the attention of many. The Hazel McCallion Act introduced earlier this week. The Ontario government is about to embark on a journey that will shed light on the proposed dissolution of the region of Peel, effective January 1st, 2025. Now, the history of the Peel region is a tale of growth, diversity, and debate surrounding governance and infrastructure. Situated in the province of Ontario, Peel Region has evolved into a vibrant and dynamic area with a population of approximately 1.5 million residents. One of the key factors contributing to Peel Region's growth is immigration. Now, over the years, the region has attracted a significant number of newcomers, drawn in by economic opportunities and a multicultural environment. The influx of diverse cultures and backgrounds has shaped the fabric of Peel's communities, fostering a rich tapestry of traditions and perspectives. Within Peel region, three main municipalities stand out, Mississauga, Brampton, and Caledon. Mississauga, occupying the southernmost part of the region, holds a distinction of being the most populous municipality within the Peel region. With a population exceeding 800,000 residents, it ranks as the seventh largest low-tier municipality in Canada, spanning from Lake Ontario northwards to near Highway 407. Mississauga has experienced rapid growth in urban development, transforming into a thriving city. In the heart of Peel lies the city of Brampton, home to over 600,000 residents. Positioned centrally, Brampton has played a vital role in the region's development, contributing to its economic and cultural landscape. Now, the town of Caledon, located in the northern reaches of the region of Peel, stands apart as the largest and most sparsely populated part of the region. The question of governance has been a topic of discussion since Peel region was amalgamated in 1974 by the Davis government. Former Mississauga Mayor Hazel McCallion, a prominent figure in the region's history, spearheaded a movement advocating for the separation of Mississauga from the Peel region. McCallion and Mississauga's council agreed that Peel region served as an unnecessary layer of government, imposed a financial burden on Mississauga residents to support services in Brampton and Caledon. In pursuit of greater autonomy, Mississauga Council unanimously passed a motion requesting the province of Ontario to establish Mississauga as a single-tier municipality. They contended that keeping property tax dollars within the city would benefit its future. However, opponents of Mississauga's position, including former Brampton Mayor Susan Fennell, countered these arguments. They highlighted that in the past, Mississauga had been the primary beneficiary of infrastructure projects funded by taxpayers from all three municipalities. Now they argued it was Brampton's turn to benefit as the growth outpaced Mississauga, which had reached its urbanization limit. Furthermore, proponents of the regional structure asserted that shared infrastructure, such as waste and water services, could be more efficiently managed at a regional level. Hence the name, the Hazel McCallion Act. The legislation takes its name from the late Mississauga Mayor Hazel McCallion, a champion of growth, progress in her city of Mississauga. Now, in a press conference, Minister Steve Clark of Ontario Moments after he tabled the bill in the legislature, said that the bill was about honoring and ch the campaign that the former mayor strived for. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm pleased to be here this afternoon to talk to you about the 
decisive action we are taking to address the needs of Mississauga, Brampton and Caledon residents by giving their municipal governance the necessary tools to build homes that Ontarians need and deserve. I'd like to welcome Mayor Crombie from Mississauga, Mayor Brown from Brampton and Mayor Groves from Caledon to Queen's Park today. As you all know, today I introduced the Hazel McCallion Act in the Legislature. This legislation, if passed, would begin the process of dissolving the Region of Peel, effective January 1st, 2025. This historic initiative by our government would help Mississauga, Brampton and Caledon prepare for the significant growth that we expect in their populations in the coming years, particularly when it comes to building homes. It also honours the legacy of the late great Hazel McCallion, a pivotal figure in the growth of Peel Region, who long believed that Mississauga was capable of standing on its own two feet. We agree and we are keeping our commitment to Hazel by moving forward with a plan that will ensure fairness and stability for the residents of Peel, while ensuring that they have the tools they need to succeed. If the proposed legislation is passed, I would appoint a transition board to help municipalities prepare to become single tier on January 1st, 2025, when the proposed changes would come into effect. The board would make recommendations on actions our government can take to help the transition proceed smoothly. And it would provide a wide range of advice on matters from financial sustainability to how to allocate assets and liabilities. Also to look at contracts and employment matters and to determine future service delivery models. Now, Hazel had a saying that uh, she was eager to remind me whenever I met with her. I, in fact, have a T-shirt that she gave me back in my ministry office uh, what, that I use as part of anticipating dealing with government uh, decisions. And that T-shirt and her saying was, do your homework. By putting this transition board in place, our government is following that wise advice of doing your homework. And I know that's the right approach for the people of Mississauga, Brampton and Caledon. Our objective, as I said earlier, is to ensure these municipalities have the tools that they need to support future population and housing growth in the years to come, to reduce duplication, to lower the cost of government and speed up the delivery of high quality services to the taxpayers of these three communities. This solution respects the individual priorities and characteristics of these three unique municipalities and provides a process for, the, for stability that is fair, balanced, and provides that stability for their residents. I'm excited about the opportunities that this legislation presents as we work to tackle the housing supply crisis because getting the dissolution process right will take a commitment and it'll take dedication from both our government and from our municipal partners. And I know uh, on behalf of our government that Mayor Crombie, Mayor Brown, and Mayor Groves are committed to ensuring the process is done right and carried through to the finish line in a manner that is amicable and constructive. Now, if passed, the Hazel McCallion Act will commence the dissolution of the Peel region, transitioning Mississauga, Brampton, and Caledon into a single-tier municipality over the next two years. Now, throughout this process, it is expected that these municipalities will continue to collaborate with each other and with the province, advancing shared provincial and municipal interests, especially in the realm of housing. Now, at the press conference, Mayor of Mississauga, Bonnie Crombie, said that all her city wants is a fair deal from the other partners and the province. So this is a very historic day. I've been waiting for this day for many years, as has Hazel McCallie, and I know that she fought the formation of the region of Peel and fought Bill Davis uh, 50 years ago, so she's smiling down on us today. So, you know, I've only asked for fairness and equity in this process. I ask that our tax dollars continue to be invested in our city for our growth and in infrastructure, our programs and services. And I will only expect, and I know the minister does as well, that that same fairness and equity uh, be the principles that take us, move us going forward as we all grow and we all grow independently so that we are set up for growth. The reality is the infrastructure was paid for by the city of Mississauga when we were in our growth phase. Seven cents on the dollar and not only does the water and wastewater treatment plant provide for Mississauga and Brampton and Caledon but also York Region 
So there is lots of space, and this, uh, in my view, this is easy placed in a utility and managed by an outside board and be a user pay system. Uh, and this is very easy to disentangle. So there are a lot of approaches going forward. I work, I look forward to working very closely with the government. Uh, but certainly um, I'm delighted that the minister will be making us all whole. Perhaps it's Mississauga that will be need, needed to be made whole for the contributions that we have made over the past 50 years during the growth phase of um, Brampton and Caledon. Thank you. Brampton Mayor Patrick Brown is more cautious about the dissolution of Peel Region and is looking at the financial aspect when it comes to dissolving the Peel Region. So, first of all, I want to say I, I think there's a lot of opportunity with the dissolution of Peel Region that we can do planning and build housing uh, faster. And so I welcome some of the advantages. Uh, the only asterisk I put on this is it relates to the question that you asked, and that is um, we need to be made whole for the infrastructure that since 1974. Uh, we built um, in Mississauga to service all of Peel Region. Um, and the initial estimates we have um, from consultants the city's worked with is to replace the water treatment facility uh, in Brampton. The wastewater facility would be $1 billion and $3 billion respectfully, um, res respectively. So that's $4 billion. Um, we'd expect a cost contribution from Mississauga like we did um, for the facilities in Mississauga. Um, it will be significantly north of, of a billion. Just in the last month, we've had four housing projects stop because of a lack of servicing. Economic development will grind to a halt. Housing will grind to a halt if we're not made whole. Um, I'm grateful the Premier says, it said very unequivocally that we'll, we'll be made whole. And, and I um, appreciate um, his uh, reassurance to us because it would be catastrophic for property taxes if that wasn't the case. And so it's really reassuring that at the start of this process, the Premier has said um, that we'll be made whole on what is owed to the city of Brampton. And the third partner in this, Caledon, their mayor, Annette Groves, compared her municipality to a child in a divorce. I know that we're the child in this marriage, but the, the children gets to speak in a divorce because at the end of the day, the children, they are affected. So we're the child. And we're the children, so we want to speak. Um, and on behalf of my residents in Caledon, I we are confident that this decision by the, the province did not come lightly and that we are confident that we will be taken care of throughout this process. I have every confidence in your transition board, Mr. Minister, that um, all of these things will be worked out. Um, and, you know, one of the things that we're forgetting, we're talking about Brampton's residents, Caledon's residents, and Mississauga's residents, but we have 7,000 employees that work at the region of Peel, and they have served all of us well, and they've served our residents really well over the last 50 years. And so, Mr. Minister, when we're talking about the, the divorce, I really hope that we will be considering those employees because many of them are our residents of Brampton, Mississauga and Caledon. So I, I just want to say that this region has worked extremely well. We're now at the end of our, um, we've come to the end of it. And, and again, I have every confidence that we will all be looked after in the end. I don't think that this is a decision that you took lightly or you considered or did the Premier, nor did the Premier. And so I don't have any any issues here in in um, in making sure that Caledon's residents will be well served through this divorce? I had a great divorce. I didn't even use a lawyer, and uh, and my ex husband comes and lets my dog out and takes my garbage out. What more can you ask for? So I I think that this is the kind of divorce we're going to have here in Peel Region. So thank you. <laughs> At this press conference, Mayor Patrick Brown and Mayor Crombie were both asked about the animosity between Mississauga and Brampton when it comes to the dissolution of the Peel region. Both Brown and Crombie said that all they are looking for is a fair deal for their communities. I, I would just say um, we're going to be watching this uh, process very closely. And if we express concern, is this, the stakes are extraordinary. If we have to rebuild our water treatment facility and our, serve, our, our wastewater on our own, that's $6,000 per resident. Um, and so we're going to make sure uh, what Brampton has paid in to build this infrastructure, and there's no debate about it. Um, uh, since 1974, we have built this infrastructure in Mississauga. Um, I appreciate um, the tone the Premier has said on this, that, that we'll be made whole and no one will be able to walk away from 
th th their bill, but let me be very clear, um, Brampton would never accept um, our residents being taken advantage of. Um, every single cent we put in to build that infrastructure in Mississauga, my residents expect back. Um, because the infrastructure has been used up. The servicing capacity has been used up. It's like going for dinner and having one party eat the entire plate, give you the empty plate and say, let's share it now. It's wrong and it would be unconscionable for our residents and I will not back away from standing up for the residents of Brampton. Yes, the answer is yes, we will be able to work this out amicably. And I think we have a very professional, very cordial relationship. Of course, we have our differences. Uh, we have our dif differences of opinion as well. And that'll all be evident and unfolded as we go through the audit process. And we've already approved the terms of reference for the audit. And I look forward to opening our book so everyone can see for themselves the status of our finances and our reserves and what exactly Mississauga paid for the past 50 years towards the growth and the development of not only Mississauga, up at Brampton and Caledon. And of course, we'll always all be professional as we work together through to the dissolution of the region of Peel. And I know we'll be working very closely with the minister and his uh, transition board as well. Caledon Mayor Groves said that while this wasn't the decision her community wanted, she and her community have faith that the province will follow through on their commitment on working with the three individual municipalities. It's not a move that we wanted. No, we, we have always taken a position as a town of Caledon. This is my third time going through this exercise. Um, and we've always maintained a position that we felt that the region has worked really well. The region has served Caledon extremely well. So it isn't a position that, um, it isn't something that we wanted. But at the end of the day, we're here with this decision today. And I think that we just have to work with it and do the best we can to make sure. When asked if there was a discussion about joining another region for Caledon, uh, like York Region, uh, Mayor Grove said that it isn't a sure thing right now. At this point in time, we don't know what that path looks like, but I'm sure that through this, uh, your transition board, Mr. Minister, that will be determined what we will look like. I will say that Caledon will be the next frontier of growth. We are expected to take a lot of greenfield development, and so we will need services. We will need to be made whole. And and again, as I said, not sure where that's going, but I am sure that through this process, that process will determine where we go, how we're served, and will ensure that the growth that we're going to be taking will be um, paying for itself. Now, to facilitate and support this change of local governments, uh, an up to five-member transition board will be appointed by the provincial government. The board's responsibilities will include offering recommendations to expedite and ensure a smooth transition, addressing matters such as financial sustainability, asset allocations, employment, service delivery models, and safeguarding the public interest. They will also have the power to request information on the municipal decisions and, if necessary, redirect decisions that are deemed contrary to the public interest or the future state of Mississauga, Brampton, or Caledon. Mayor Crombie said that the board must be fair in their work and must work for the best of all three communities. I just want to be sure that on that transition committee, there's no conflict of interest. There's no one that can present any influence peddling. And I, I have to have confidence, and I do, that the minister will appoint individuals that will not be not have conflicts in any way that can guide themselves with the highest of principles to get the job done fairly and equitably for all three municipalities. In an era that calls for modern and efficient local government systems, Clark said that the government's aim is to address these demands while recognizing the unique characters or characteristics. In an era that calls for modern and efficient local government systems, Minister Clark said that the government aims to address these demands while recognizing the unique characteristics of all three municipalities. And when asked if this was something coming to other regional municipalities, Clark ended the press conference by saying that if other mayors wanted to talk, he would be open to it. There's been no Hazel McCallion in any other uh, municipality in Ontario that's campaigned on a certain structural model moving forward. I'm open to conversations with people, but, you know, uh, they're not going to be behind closed doors. If a mayor wants a, a different uh, format, they're going to have to get in front of the podium and, and talk about it. And no, no other region, no other region's done that. None. So as you can tell, this is a story that we will be following a lot over the next two years as uh, the region of Peel begins to dissolve and these three single-tier municipalities are set up 
We're looking forward and we're looking forward to sitting down with Mayor Crombie in a few weeks to talk about this issue. Uh, to our viewers, thank you for tuning in for another great episode of the Cross Border Interviews. Now, if you've enjoyed this episode, please hit the subscribe button so that way you can stay up to date on all of our latest interviews and special episodes. We have some amazing guests coming up and we can't wait to share their stories with you. Now, if you're able to, and this is a big if, please consider backing the show to help us continue to grow and produce high quality content from across Canada about municipal governments. Every little bit helps and we appreciate your support. A link to our Patreon account is in the show notes. Now, don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for behind the scenes content, show updates, and so much more. Their links are in the show notes as well. And finally, and this is a big finally. As much as we love our phones and technology, let's remember to put them down and have real life in-person conversations with the people in our lives, even if it's just for five minutes. And thanks again for tuning in for another great episode of the Cross Border Interviews. Remember everyone, just keep talking. <laughs>